First thing you need to do is remove the cover over the tip. I've settled on using a small pair of side cutters for this job. Just take small cuts, being careful not to go too deep. The next stage is to try and peel off the remaining cover from the tip. Initially make a cut and then use a peeling action to peel away the plastic from the rest of the body. Scrape off as much as the plastic and glue as you can. Remove the circuit board by pulling on it firmly. I then use a Dremel abrasive buff to remove any remaining traces of glue. Just go lightly so you don't damage the plastic, but you want it smooth so that it will create a watertight seal when you put the new tip on. Remove the existing heat shrink cover over the battery. Use a non-conducting device such as a credit card as a lever for when removing the battery. Heat up one of the battery solder joints and lever the battery away from the circuit board. Then heat up the remaining solder joint and pull the battery right out. Then I use some solder wick to remove the rest of the solder from the battery mounting holes. The new battery can then be fitted to the chip. 
the positive leg goes in the hole furthest away from the tip. The new battery should be soldered so it is flat and level with the circuit board. Solder the first leg, then check the battery alignment, then solder the second leg. Now refit the heat shrink around the battery. This helps ensure that the circuit board will be a nice tight fit in the case. At this time, we can now test the chip and put the circuit board back in the case. In this case, I'm going to fit one of the PETG 3D printed tips printed on a Prusa Mark III. These come out very nice. In Prusa Slicer I set them to the 0.1mm detail setting and they come out fully waterproof. Remove the support material and then just clean them up before fitting. Use super glue to glue the tip back on. Spread the glue evenly over the end of the case. Do a final test and the chip's ready to go. Here's a time lapse of the new chip being printed. The tips can also be printed on a resin 3D printer. I use the Soraya Blue Tough Clear resin for this. These tips come out in more detail but should also be sprayed with a clear lacquer to protect against UV once fully assembled. <laughs> 